Philip, welcome to Watford. Thank you. What are your first impressions of the club? Uh, so far, it's been really good, amazing, uh, brilliant facilities, very sweet people, uh, a lot of new faces, a lot of new staff, uh, but amazing facilities and uh, it's been brilliant. I'm pretty sure you're not going to have been short of options. Why did you choose Watford? Uh, well, uh, for me, Watford is the biggest club in championship and uh, the club was the, with the best chances of going up to Premier League, so it was uh, yeah, more or less a no-brainer. Did you always aspire to come and play in England? Yeah, well, uh, always dreamed of playing in the big leagues, top five, Spain, Italy, England. Uh, and f for me, Watford belongs in, in, in Premier League and, and Championship is more or less a top five league. So, yeah, no brainer. How would you describe yourself as a player? Uh, well, I can play on the bo both wings. I can play as a number 10. Uh, I'm, I would say that I'm a fast, if explosive, winger with um, qualities in my feet. I'm, I have a good right foot. Uh, I'm pretty decent with the left one. Uh, likes to dribble but also likes to cross. So uh, a little bit of everything but, but mainly attacking part of the game. If you had to pick one position, if the coach said to you pick me one position Philip, what, what would you say? Uh, that's difficult. Actually to be honest I play uh, I play best on both wings. I, I don't really have a side. I am also really good behind the striker, but maybe behind the striker a little bit to, to one of the sides would be the best. Any particular player growing up you model yourself on? Do you take bits and pieces for, from anyone in particular? Well, uh, in my generation, of course, we had Cristiano Ronaldo and, and, and Lionel Messi, so th those are the two players I, 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 I had the most inspiration from. but. Uh, I've also watched players like Coutinho doing well in, in Premier League. Uh, there's so many nice players, so there's a lot to be inspired about. Fans will be eager to see you play. Are you ready to play? Are you fit? I'm fit. I'm fit. I've only had five days off since the last game in the uh, 19th of December, so I'm more or less fit. I'm just uh, looking forward to be on the training pitch and uh, hopefully soon I can, uh, I can play some games. Just doing a bit of research on your career, just talk you through some stats. Um, five, in five goals in 56 appearances at your first club, five in 29 at your second club, four in 44 at your third club. They look quite unremarkable statistics. Mm. And then you go to 31 in 82 for Bodo Glimt. Mm. What clicked? What was the change? Well, you grow up, you get a bit, of, a bit older, you, you start being... Uh, you start scoring the goals and be more productive than when you are a bit younger and, and uh, yeah well it's been a long journey with also a lot of uh, hard work with a mental coach to to get the few de you know that's football is about details and sometimes you can have a big potential but it can be small details that 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 matters if you get it out or or not so it's it's a mix of hard work and maybe i'm a bit older and more clever now Anything particular with the, with the mental coach? Well, yeah, we've worked together for four years now, so uh, it's mainly been about you know the less details in front of the goals. You know, I've always had the abilities to get in front of the goal and, and set a guy and, and be dangerous, but it's just you know it's a matter of seconds and, and stuff like that. So mainly the focus and the concentration has been a big part. Um, of it. A remarkable season last season for Bodo Glimp. They won the league for the first time in Norway. An astonishing season for you. 19 goals, 24 assists. Wow. Yeah, well, yeah, it's been an unbelievable season, actually. As you said, uh, first championship for uh, a no North Norwegian club, which is really big for, for this club who is in the north of Norway. So, um, yeah, and we broke so many records. So it's been uh, amazing. What was the secret to, to your success and the team's success? Yeah, well, uh, the first year I came, we, we played really well and, and had a clear playing style and philosophy. And we, we, was, we struggled a bit to get the results. But I think the key is that the, the coaches and the team and, 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 the, and the club kept that f philosophy and just kept on going and, and, and developed and developed. And then second year, we got the silvers, second place. And then the third year now, we just yeah, destroyed the league. So hard work and and also, uh, you know, 
if if things doesn't go as planned, you know, it's easy to just change and do new stuff. But in this club, we just stayed and and, and worked on the details, and then yeah, third year was amazing. Capped for your country, Denmark, at under 18 and under 20 level. Mm -hmm. Do you have inter full international um, honours and, and ambitions? Yeah, well, uh, I'm also speaking uh, once in a while with a national coach, and uh, I think I have a good chance for, for maybe the next couple of games, depending how everything is, is, is going here. But, uh, but uh, I, hope I, will, I hope and I think I have good chances of, of getting a few games soon. Lots of players from your country here, um, Anders Christiansen, Vestergaard, Hoiberg, Kasper Schmeichel, there's two lads at, at Brentford, Delgaard and, and Jensen. There's even more, I think, three, even, four guys there. But, uh, do you know any of these guys? Have, have you spoken yeah, to any guys? Uh, the guys from Brentford uh, are from the same academy, three of them are from the same academy as I, I was in Denmark, so uh, I've asked them about the league and about, not so much about Watford, but mainly about England and championship and uh, They've only said good words and good stuff about it, so that's nice. How excited are you to get started? Really excited, actually. Uh, just want to train, just want to play. And uh, yeah, well, it's only been 10 days since my last game, so I'm still fit and uh, I just want to get started. Click here for more videos.